Hey guys, so I have um, a monochromatic embellishment boxes to share with you. Um, this was for a swap I hosted over on Instagram. So for July, like end of June, July, um, I picked um, the theme swaps for that month was monochromatic. So I do a monthly memory dex card swap. So it was monochromatic and that was the basically the only theme. So you could pick what theme and what color you wanted to do um and you just had to be it just had to be monochromatic so um and then I also did a mini embellishment box swap and again like always you do three sets of three and you get three back um and so I wanted to share with you what I did and I make one for everyone because that's just what I do so let me show you I did gold for my embellishment boxes so the most used colors for most picked colors for the embellishment boxes and even for the um memory decks cards were like gold and well for the so far for the embellishment boxes from what i've seen is gold and pink and then the second two most used colors were blue and yellow so um let me show you um how i packaged them and we're going to package one together and then show you so um, I left one on package because then I wouldn't be able to show you what I did. But let me show you. So first off, this is what it looks like packaged. So it comes packaged in one of these polka dot gold bags. And um, and I'll go into depth. And there's some confetti and stuff in there. My business card and the, the topper. And I'll go through everything I did. So the bag, what I did is I cut the bottoms off of all of them because I just wanted to stitch them. So I stitched the bottoms, and these are from Walmart, these gold polka dot bags, they're just the treat bags. And then these are the mini toolbox, you know, the flat ones from um, Dollar Tree. Basically all you had to do was make sure it was full, um, as full as you can get it, and you had to have at least three handmade embellishments. Um, all my embellishment boxes are exactly the same, the only thing that varies slightly are like maybe the size and shapes of things but everything is they all have the exact same things um so for my cover i use this music paper um i forget what paper pad it's from but it's from like a garden paper pad but it's gold and like a cream and i stitched that as well and then i created these butterflies i created these on my cricut and i made them myself so when i say i made them myself is i layered them up myself and designed them myself and I stitched them. So the base layer is gold, the gold foil from Michaels. Then I took vellum or my heavyweight tracing paper I get from my heavyweight uh, tracing paper pad. I get 50 sheets for $8 at um, Hobby Lobby. And it's the same thing as tracing paper and it's cheaper. Um, and I sprayed it with gold shimmer um, Lindy's and the gold um, Distress spray from Tim Holtz and I cut that out. It was not easy to do, but I did it um, Put that layer down then I cut another then I cut a butterfly, you know the see-through layer on this gold um, Pattern golden white patterned butterfly then I did another layer of the gold vellum and then the top layer is this poster board I picked up at I think either Michaels or Hobby Lobby it was like a big poster board for like two bucks and I cut that out so when they get it they can fluff this up and it looks like that looks like the butterfly is flying away and then I cut out this dream which was gifted to me by Amy hi Amy um, and I cut this out on a sticky back glitter uh, glitter foam I was gonna say canvas but that's not canvas it's this foam so it says dream and I love it and it fits perfectly on this box so let me open this. Oh, and then let me show you the bag topper. So the bag topper is just the, that's one of those standard bag toppers from, you can get from AliExpress. Um, and I cut it out from the same paper pad as this one. They just had this design. And then um, I just gold stitched on this, the cream ruffled from Hobby Lobby. And then I went through my Maggie Holmes flowers, picked out you know the gold little flowers that went well and then these are also Maggie stickers stuck them on and then I just stitched that on as well going across. 
So I did the th smaller stitch and then I did the big stitch on here. Like the wider one. So this one says wonderful. The other one says follow your heart. So now my camera's, my battery is blinking. So when you open it, this is what it looks like. Um, laying on top here is I cut out these roses for everyone in the foil. So there's that. So in the first one here, I'm not going to pull everything, single thing out, but these are all like vintage buttons, all gold, yellow. There's some yellow things, so, um, but gold, yellow, different vintage gold, all those different things. Um, in here is one of my handmade embellishments. I made a little postage stamp. So we have, I have the base and then polka dot craft and then there's a glitter bunny and then I made a little bow. Um, then there's some, this is all metal pieces. So each one has a vintage bottle cap. It's either a real vintage bottle cap or a Prima marketing bottle cap. They have a metal cherub. They have a metal gear um, that's flat and then they have a 3D gear. Um, they have some kind of jewelry or metal ornate finding and they have a metal crown. Um, then they all have a roll of some of the gold mesh bling. Then over here they all have one of these handmade embellishments which is on this um, pink and gold heart scallop and then I have some gold thread, a glittered heart, I have this EXO wooden heart which you actually they get some um, with some bling, gold bling and it says cheers and then they each get one of these gold fish head charms, Japanese head charms. They each get a shaped, this varies, but they each get a shaped clip from Michaels. This one happens to be a pineapple. And then these are all exactly the same. There is three gold uh, Teresa Collins paper clips, uh, one yellow paper clip. Whoops, that's not the yellow paper clip. One gold paper clip like just painted wood paper clip, one yellow paper clip, uh, clothespin, and then one like sh shiny plastic gold clothespin, sorry, mini clothespin. So that's in there. Then you get four big pom-poms. You get a gold sequin mix, and then there's some washi tape. There's the solid gold foil to go keep with my botanical theme, which actually, let me just go down here. And zoom in. Hopefully my camera doesn't die on me. That would suck. So you have the gold foil, the gold foil with the butterflies, and then there's this one with the stripes with the pink and the teal. That's just tied together with some gold um, piece of um, pipe cleaner. Um, there's some gold pony beads. Um, then down here these are all wood pieces. So these are those stickers so you get one of each. So there's one with the heart and one with the XO. And then they get the stars, so there's one with the open star and then one with the thicker star. And then you get these, which I painted and I sprayed. So you get an XO. You get, these vary with the words, but you get like a speech bubble. This one says cool. You get some kind of bug, so this one's a dragonfly. You can get a butterfly, a snail, a bee, a butterfly ladybug, um, you get a sew one, something with sewing, so this one's a spool, you get a sewing machine, scissors, dress form, all that, and then you get some kind of clock. This one happens to be an, um, an hourglass, um, you can get an alarm clock, you know, a wall clock, a father clock, something like that. So, then I'm going to put this back over here. Then over here I have two punched butterflies, one in the striped gold paper and then one in glitter paper and then in this little thing here we have two star brads something yellow so this one has a crayon it's always a little button embellishment so this one's and it's yellow so that one happens to have a crayon uh, one of these flat back glittery gold flowers um, just one of these like gold infused beads same thing with these beads. They remind me of teeth, but they are gold. They have like a gold infusion in them, so I just threw them in there. You could get each. Everyone gets a skull and a wing. The size varies, but and then you get some yellowy gold bling. 
And you get the butterflies. Then in here, I made these little flowers, punched them out, added the bling, added the little gold leaf trim. Um, I punched out these dragonflies. So we have the dragonflies. I'm not 100% crazy about how these came out, but this is a newer die I picked up. Um, and it's a mason jar with a flower in it. But this is how it came out. But I made that. I gave some of the glittery hearts that are my favorite. Stickers. Some, another strip of yellow gold bling. And then everybody gets a metal key. Whether it's a vintage key or an old key, you can alter them make charms, do something steampunky, whatever you want to do. So, then this just goes, I'm going to back out, this just goes right back in here. And then this is the tinsel mix. This is just from Party City. It has white and black in it, and there's sequins, and there's some silver and gold. And I'm just going to, because I know some people don't like the crinkling, I'm just going to sprinkle some in here, in the front and the back. Oops, sprinkled a little too much, but that's okay. And I don't have one of my business cards that doesn't on by me, but that's okay. So I'm just going to quickly flatten this down a little bit. So, hold on one sec. And then what I do is I just, oh, I just poured out some of it. And then I just, I curled this up and I stapled it. And then I just took the adhesive off and I just plopped it on. So yeah, let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye!